next door tonight? Well, I think that, uh, you, you know, first things first is safety. Then second of all, you want to make it challenging but fun for the riders. It's not the same thing they've had the last eight weeks in a row. And, uh, and, and something that also that the, the fans would enjoy. And when you have that, it makes great TV and just fun for the guys out there racing. So uh, a lot of factors go into it. The other thing you must have ordered up was dry conditions because we haven't had that in the last couple of years. Right. It has been a beautiful week here so far in Daytona. That it has. Uh, we got awesome race conditions tonight. I think it's going to be really, really special. Bike Week 2013 is underway. And the first event of the week is this. Supercross here at Daytona. Now, Jeff, we've had a lot of long straights to that first corner. This is probably the shortest one, but that's going to cause some real fun if we get to that first turn. Yeah, and as you'll see, the finish line jump is in the first turn area, so it kind of rolls to the left. Everybody comes in there hot from the inside, pushes wide, causes havoc. You know, I think one thing about it, though, even though it's a 90-degree turn, it isn't so sharp of a 90 degree turn, if you know what I'm saying. So I, I we really worked hard on that. To, you know, we were kind of in a box. We had to make it a, a, a 90 for where it was. And I think it's gonna be okay. Here we go, the first heat for the 250s. Coming out the inside. Jeremy Looked like Martin. that's a hot spot. Yeah, that looked like Kyle Peters on the outside on the white bike. Grabbing the whole shot, and then Martin on the Yamaha hugs yeah. it tight and gets a good drive down that first straightaway with those rollers. Yeah, you could see right there what happened was is oh look at that. Dip Peters seen a Kyle Peters coming right through there. Martin is on the 77. And look at your points leader, Will Hahn, taking the lead here with authority. Two-time winner already this year, and Zach Bell's up in there on the 167. Yeah, Peter's kind of messed up uh, Jeremy Martin's rhythm there and put him back to third. But Will Hahn, man, this guy's been on rails the last two weekends. He has, and now he has a clear track to start the heat race and have one of those, those nights where you just get out there, you get out front, you dictate the race for yourself. You don't have to deal with any other riders. Keep your goggles clean. You can really have a clear track without other riders being right in front of you. So, Will Hahn doing exactly what he needs to do, picking up where he left off. And there's his teammate. Oh, Bell getting hard on the brakes. Well, and as you can see, the one thing about Daytona is sand, 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 and more sand. Yeah, it sure is. And what's tough is they make the jump, some of the jumps with clay. So, I mean, it just gets really G'd out. And what G'd out means is as you hit the face of the jumps, the suspension just compresses and almost bottoms out, makes it tough. And Jeff, as we dig down through this surface, there's even more sand down below. Yeah, because basically the, that clay gets put on top of the grass, and then under the grass is this, you know, this dark uh, black sand that you see, and it's kind of bottomless. So there becomes this, this little crust that's in between that deep sand, the grass, and then the clay. Now the track's been worked on. It's smooth. It's nice right now. Some lines are going to get dug in, and this track will get grooved in. By the end of the night, we're going to have a track that's going to be really nasty, rutted, extremely rough, and it'll be way more challenging than what it is for these 250cc riders that are out there now in heat one. Look at Bell on the 167. Coming after Martin on the 77. Here he comes at midpoint, oh. making the pass. And that's going to move Bell up into third. And now it looks like he's already setting up after Peters. Triple that, that section right there. It's pretty tough for the 250s uh, out of that sand hole to really get the drive. But Bell executed it perfectly. Now he's going after the AG Motorsports rider, Kyle Peters, number 50 there. Oh, coming right back is Martin. Look at that. Nice move in that burn turn. Well, and both of these riders, they're rookies, so. Yeah, it's a been, battle of the rookies yeah, right here. Yeah, they've been racing together as amateur for years. Now here they are at the Daytona Supercross for their very first time. Dakotas is in on this as well in the 613. Trying to mix it up here with Martin on that 77, the blue Yamaha, and Bell on the Geico Honda. Well, what's interesting, Ricky, is now we really get a chance to see how the track races, because earlier today, we have qualifying practice, so everyone's really out there. Oh, Bell back Martin around the double. and goes after Peters now. Here he comes. Slams the door, as they say. Oh. There he goes, right by him. Wow, just Jeremy Martin not really making some good decisions 
as far as when he's racing these guys, he had a great opportunity to pass Kyle Peters several times, didn't take advantage of it. And now you can see what he's having. He's back, uh, back himself into the fourth position. He's Top not triple in that. You can see right there, Dakota's probably going to get going the inside of him here if he doesn't get going. Top nine are going to transfer through. Wright has that final transfer spot right now. These guys all racing third, fourth, fifth in that group here. He's going to go inside there. Martin trying to, oh, he's getting after it. Yeah, he's trying, he's going for it. See if he can get a good run down this long straightaway. He just cannot get by Kyle yeah. Peters. Well, here he Peters. comes on the outside. That's, boy, he carried a lot of momentum off there, but he's not going to have the advantage when he gets to the next turn. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is one lap ago in that same spot. We'll look at this replay and watch the difference here as uh, you've got Martin there on the inside. In front of him is Peters. Bell and Dakotas, look how wide they go. Look at the difference here, how much more distance you have to cover when you go wide. It seems like a lot right now. Later on tonight when this track goes away and it's rough and rutted, that outside is not going to be that far because that inside rut will get so deep. That's right. Lots of choices here, though. Yeah, and, and that's what these guys like. That's what they want is to be able to make passes if they have to. Go inside, go outside. There he goes, triples up over. These guys seat bouncing down a little bit. The mogul section there. Yeah, a little unique. Moguls have always been here at uh, Daytona, back when we were racing, Jeff. Well, sometimes the moguls just, uh, they just develop. They wouldn't even be on the straightaway, right. and then they would all of a sudden, by the end of the main, there's this yeah. set of moguls that weren't, weren't even there. It wasn't in the original drawing, but yeah. it was there by the end of the night. Right? Yeah, you know, uh, people ask me, so well, you got a gnarly track built for uh, Daytona this year for the guys, and what's funny is you don't have to make it rough. It gets so rough naturally that uh, the last thing you want to do is <laughs> make it even worse. Yeah. So you want to incorporate fun stuff so the guys get a break. That's Vincent on the 87 working the high line there, going after the 71 at Freeburg. They are battling over seven. Freeburg has that position right now. Yeah, Vincent went wide in the left, wide in the right. He had to have gone like an extra 50, 50 feet, yeah. right? And that's right, right behind them on the uh, 81 who holds down nine. Ninth final qualifying yep. spot. So you notice he's got a little gap behind him. He's just trying to improve his position, get a letter, a little bit better gate pick off the line here. That's a good inside lines there, some outside lines. And Ricky, you did these big ditches over here. Yeah, what happens is you just, you know, as you dig into the to the ground to push up jumps, you make uh, you know, you make some pits, if you will. It actually ends up working pretty good, pretty fun. Well, one thing about this race now being ran at nighttime, the track, the moisture stays in it. Ricky, remember we used to race in the daytime, and if it was hot, it would dry out. Oh, yeah. And then it would get, that sand would get really fine. And plus, it would get a little bit dusty in spots, and it would, it, it just is a different type of racetrack when the, when the sun's beating down on it all day. Yeah, I remember when, you know, back, back Watching this battle for second. Bell and Dakotas. Martin in there. Peters. This is actually the fight for fourth. Peters Man. in fourth, Martin. Yeah, Martin Dakotas just up can't, I mean, just Kyle is making it miserable. He's riding really good. And Jeremy has been stuck behind him the whole photo. Well, yeah, but you can say that, but Dakotas came up well, right. past all of them. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah, he, he, so, he wasn't wasting any time. Yeah, working the final lap here. Getting, getting close, but let's see if he triples through. Yeah, nope. see, Martin is right there. He, he got next to him. Every lap he gets next to the guys. Okay, to Kyle, and then Kyle just jumps that triple through the rhythm section, and off he goes. Hans on the left, coming to the checkered flag. And for Will Hahn, it will be his third heat race victory of the 2013 season. Behind him, these guys fighting to the checkers, and Peters is going to beat Martin to the line. Look at Will Hahn.
guys. He's on, focused right now. On a roll, isn't he? It's a good place to be, huh, Ricky? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're Everything's joking, just clicking. Bro. Everything seems to go your way. So. Marvin Muscan's going to be racing tonight, Aaron. That he is, Ralph. Marvin Muscan, KTM Red Bull, is coming off a fourth-place finish last weekend in St. Louis. And, Marvin, best result so far this season is a third-place finish. What do you need to do to make your mark here tonight in Daytona? Well, obviously, uh, all shot. A good start, for sure. That's the key. And uh, my speed has been really good lately. And I uh, just need a good start. And... Uh, I feel really good. My bike is awesome. I mean, uh, I have a great team. And uh, I just want to have fun. And uh, we are here in Daytona. And track's, track's really good. And uh, that's a nice place. I'm really happy to be here. Good luck to you tonight. Marvin Muscan qualifying third overall today in practice and actually had his best 450 career finish with a fourth place here in Daytona last year. Yeah, and that was on a 350 too, Aaron. And now we're going to get to see him on the 250. Of course, we're going to see Ken Roxon later tonight on that 350 KTM. Here's the result.